Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That is the Everyday City Carry. And today, today we are not even centered, so we've got to fix this right now. My bad. My bad on that. Okay, now it's centered on my eyeball. And that's how we do it up on EDCC, man. Improvisation. That's the real EDC right there. Today I've got an unboxing. This came from, I believe, Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions via the Apex Passaround group. Let's get to it. I'm using this Skagel knife right here. Submitted and, uh, you know, kind of a loner from Ryan Seems Logical, best commenter on YouTube. Um, just a beautiful knife. I want to give some shine to it. I don't ever use it around the house because I don't have to, like, hack. Uh, you know, tree limbs or people limbs. So I um, just want to use it here, man. Kind of an overkill for a USPS box, but you know what? Sometimes you want to overkill them. I probably shouldn't say that. I'll get in trouble. Damn, that cut right through that. And uh, it was awesome. So let's, uh, by the way, this comes in this um, beautiful leather sheath right here. You can get this at Knives Ship Free. I believe that is what Ryan told me. I could be wrong. I am wrong all the time. What is this? Okay, let us uh, let me take this out because I don't know what this is. What do we do with this? All right, uh, this is from Artisan Cutlery as you can see. I love this little tin box thing. What? What is this? Got the uh, Artisan Cutlery sil silica gel, of course. You gotta have the silica gels. Artisan Cutlery Ink. Limited lifetime warranty. Okay. Thank you for that. Got your Artisan Artisan Cutlery uh, pouch here. I haven't gotten an Artisan in a while. What? Which Artisan is this? Oh, there's like, what is this? It's like a neck knife type thing? Look at that. Interesting. What is it? What is this? What the fuck? What knife is this, dude? Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's put that in there for a second. That sounded very sexual. All right, let's just put this away. Put it, gotta put it away. <laughs> Don't mess up the bass track. Okay. All right, it is a front flipper. Is this the um the Centauri or something? Holy crap! This is nice. What? This is so nice. This is by. It says Damascus steel on it. Duh. Right. Very beautiful pattern on that. Uh, carbon fiber and titanium nice this is nice man i haven't gotten uh, a really nice knife like this in a while this feels so freaking premium um is this the centauri i want to say that's what this is i could be totally wrong because i'm wrong all the time a couple of things i see very slim ray laconico this kind of feels like a little bit different from a ray laconico knife that's how i feel about it right look at the blade shape Laconicos kind of look similar. If you hear someone talking, that is Kelly in the background talking on the phone. Can't close this door here or else I will just melt in front of the camera and then I can't do knife reviews or uh, unboxings anymore. Um, not even wearing pants right now. That is the running theme this summer is I don't wear pants. Like, <laughs> you guys don't even know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Drop shot for the people. Holy crap. Let's open it up drop shot for the people again right here what do you think fuller fanatic which drop shot is that um fuller fanatic is a pretty cool channel i've been hyping him up for a while what is this thing for do you guys know like it has a little screw thing on it i don't know what that's for let's put it aside because i have no idea but yeah, man, definitely really, really pretty knife. And light, uh, the carbon fiber, which is very thin stock right there. Look at the titanium too, dude. What? And you know what they did? Look. Look at the lanyard hole. It's in the back. Firing on all cylinders this time around, Artisan Cutlery. Um... Shit, man. Fuck, I gotta get more artisan knives, man. Some of the... I, for, I don't know how much this one is. I'm assuming it's gonna be 150... 180-ish. Uh, like, close to 200, maybe? At least it feels that way, man. It's so nice. Like, I wish this was mine. There's a pass the palm test. A little bit over. A little bit over on that one. Right, dudes? 
a little bit over on that one. Um, damn, this is so nice. What the heck? It's a front flipper, so if you guys don't like that, you, sh you could skip this one. Can I front flip it with the left? Yes. So the action is really good. I'm assuming this is running on bearings because it's just, I mean, just look at this. Look how pretty that is. Centered, of course. Wouldn't expect anything else from Artisan Cutlery. Jeez. You know, it'd be dope if I had one of these and then I would let someone anno the back of it. I've been thinking of like uh, sending some stuff out again if you do anodized stuff and you want to be featured on the channel. I would love to. Um, we could do that exchange. That That's goods and services. I fe feature it on the channel and I pay for the shipping to ship to you and you give it back to me. And then I talk about you. Uh, by the way, if, if there's an anodizer and you know, you've got kind of a chill vibe on camera and you want to be on the show, I'd love to have uh, someone that mods a lot um, come on the podcast. But let's get back to this knife. I got into podcast mode for a second and that's not what you're here for. Look at that. Damascus blade, carbon fiber, titanium, how can you go wrong? Is it gram worthy? Yeah. Oh, hold on, wait. That's not this thing's fault. It's the fake wood. See? Wow. That is a beautiful profile right there. Let's check out this side, guys. Let's do it like that. Look at that. I think you can see on the top cam how thin uh, this knife is, too. Very comfortable in the hand. No hot spots, bro. Not even a little bit. Love it, man. Love it. Let's cut some cardboard because that's pretty much uh, one of the cool things that we do here is we cut cardboard. Let's uh, flip for this camera. Wow. All right. Let's see. Absolutely perfect. Would not expect anything less for a knife of this quality. Just absolutely amazing. Uh, let's do some more. Let's do some more. Let's do like three of them. Uh, let's try to do a long one. Look at that. Wow. I would love to have this one. This is so cool. We'll do one more. We'll do one more, guys. Gotta do one more. Right? <laughs> we'll do a long cut like this. Wow. That's crazy. That is just awesome. Bravo. Bravo, artisan. Drop shot for the people. That is amazing. That is amazing. Wow, what a good day for a knife, huh? That is awesome, dude. Well, you know what? Let's do a knives up. Uh, I do have some knives here. This is the Artisan Cutlery. Fuck, I, 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 I hope that that's a Centauri. I'm not sure if it is. If it isn't, I'm really sorry. You guys can get upset at me. I've got the Benchmade 940-2, I want to say. That is from Lefty EDC, um, Spyderco Para 3 with a G10 and M390. That's from Pittsburgh EDC. Uh, here, I've got the, oh shit. Oh. Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop. That one was uh, g given to me by uh, my homie Backpack B. And then let's put the fixed blade in here too, man. You know what I mean? Let's put the fixed blade in here, see if it fits. There you go. That's the Skagel Knives. I uh, forgot which Bowie it is, but it's one of them. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying triple bass. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.